This is Dr. Kevin of iAssociates of South Texas. I'm going to show you a case of a patient who had a silicone iris prosthetic lens implant placed in Dubai um, outside of the United States who presented with this uh, brightly colored silicone prosthetic iris implant. You can see that the pupil is mal-shaped and not centered in the eye underneath the prosthetic iris implant. We've already made two paracentesis incisions superiorly and inferiorly and we're marking a four millimeter length along the corneal scleral limbus uh, to give us the final size of our corneal tunnel. We are going to enter the cornea at the limbus with a 2.8 millimeter blade being very careful when inserting the blade into the anterior chamber using a controlled type incision uh, so as not to damage the lens. This patient is phacic. Next we're going to dissect underneath the iris implant with a dispersive viscoelastic to keep the natural lens and iris away from the prosthetic iris implant. We also want to place viscoelastic underneath the corneal dome to protect the corneal endothelium. And we're going to come in from both the superior and inferior paracentesis incisions to maximally viscodissect underneath the prosthetic. I've edited this video um, and not shown all the visco dissection uh, to make the length appropriate for teaching purposes. The next step is to make a tab 180 degrees away from the corneal incision. as the technique that's been described by others to remove the silicone iris prosthetic implants and we use a pair of micro scissors here to cut the tab. This gives us a platform to pull the iris implant out of the clear cornea wound. We're going to use a pair of micro grabbers to grab that tab and this should allow the iris implant to fold over on itself and we can remove this iris implant through the uh, four millimeter enlarged clear cornea incision. You can see that the iris implant is turning and being removed out of the clear cornea incision. The tab dislocated at this point and we use a micro forcep to remove the rest of the iris implant. You can see underneath the iris implant the patient has some degree of cortical cataract starting. There's also ectropia and uvea in the clinic on goineoscopy. Uh, we noted this is examination of the angle. They had extensive uh, amounts of peripheral anterior synechia, but with some areas of open angle. Um, the reasons for removing the iris implant in this patient were chronic iritis, glaucoma, and the startings of cataract. The patient tolerated this procedure well and was seen 2030 the next day in clinic and intraocular pressure was within normal limits. Thank you for your attention. This is Dr. Kavanaugh of I Associates of South Texas.